What's up, what's up, what's up, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Welcome to another glorious edition of the Sunday Word Report. And as you see, once again, I might as well stop saying that. I keep saying once again because I've been having guests on here since June. But today I am here with gospel recording artist, Miss Jasmine Artis Farrell. And if you remember, a couple of months ago, I did a phone interview right here on the Sunday Word Report with her. But now she's here with me um, via webcam. We are going to do a vlog today. So, Miss Jasmine Artis Farrell, welcome to the Sunday Word Report again. I'm excited. Like, I'm, I'm excited. I've been having joy all week. I'm ready to discuss, you know what I'm saying, what the Lord laid on your heart to just yes. give out to the people. I'm excited, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> yes, y'all. If When you get through watching this, y'all, go check out the vlog back, I believe it was in February when I had her on here. That was a very great sit-down interview. And I'm just looking forward to the today because today we're going to be discussing how to discover and fulfill your God-given purpose and I feel that this is going to really be a blessing to a lot of people and not only just people but younger people as well because a lot of younger people mm -hmm. are trying to discover their purpose and some know their purpose they're just trying to you know fully fulfill that purpose but today the script the scripture God gave me was you know at first when the Lord gave me this I was like this one why but then as I read uh -huh. it you know it made perfect sense it's from Matthew, the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 11. Matter of fact, this scripture was the scripture I used for, for my initial sermon back in 2016. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe this right here is a great scripture for this topic. So, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. And when the temple came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. Then the devil taking him up into the holy city and set, set of him on a pinnacle of the temple. Mm -hmm. And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, Mm -hmm. he, shall, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, excuse me, Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Again the devil taketh him up into a cedar high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the <laughs> glory of them. And said unto him, All these things would I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus, then say of Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. Right. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Yeah. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. So, how does this deal with purpose? See, Jesus' earthly purpose was to be born, right. to do ministry. Uh -huh. He was he was he was going to be was to be portrayed mm -hmm. to die on that cross and to rise again, so that all of us may have a right to the tree of life. He himself had a purpose, right. but here's the thing: here's the main thing that helped him stay focused mm -hmm. on his purpose. Time something got hard every time he faced something he went to go talk to God he turned to God so how can that help you to discover and fulfill your purpose if you are unsure about your purpose turn to God stay one thing I must say about Jesus here every time Satan came at Jesus Guess what? Jesus used scripture at Satan. Yeah. And when you get to verse six, I believe, <laughs> Satan even went as far right. as to try to turn scripture around on Jesus. Wow. But Jesus was no fool. He said it in verse seven, Jesus said, It is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. 
Anybody. I love how the New International Version puts it. it. In the New International Version, Jesus said, do not put your Lord, your God, to the test. See, let me tell you something. When you when it comes to fulfill, discovering and fulfilling your purpose, you got to turn to God. You got to keep in mind, you know, the mission that you are on. Right. And, and for those who are trying to discover your purpose, let me tell you something. Something Bishop T.D. Jakes said one time that has stuck with me. If you're not sure about your purpose, do something. Because your something is going to take you to your purpose. Right. You just got to trust in God. You got to say, Lord, I don't, know what, what, I don't know what my purpose is, but as long as I know that you're directing my path, I'm going to get there. And if you are at a point where you're trying to fulfill your purpose, just turn to God and trust in him. And when, when Satan try to come tempt you and try to tell you otherwise, you just keep throwing scripture back at Satan. You keep <laughs> telling Satan like it is. Because remember, you have victory over Satan. Satan is going to be Satan, but you got to put him on nose and let him know <laughs> who you are for. So when you're trying to discover right. your purpose, just look to God, ask God for direction. When you're trying to fulfill your purpose, still ask for direction, but tell God just to keep you rooted and grounded in his... Oh, boy, Lord have mercy. I'm, you, I said, you, I, I'm trying oh, to... Wow. <laughs> this is right on. Lord have mercy. This is right on. And you know what? Ooh. I believe I believe if you keep going down, if you keep mm -hmm. going down, it talks about as, after all that, Jesus still ended up preaching when he went up, he left. He left that um city right. where he was at. And he left. And the people that was of darkness of at um at the city that he went to, they saw a light. So even when Satan even tried to tempt mm -hmm. them, Jesus still showed that light. That's how we supposed to be. When Satan throw tests yes. into hills to break us down, we're still supposed to be showing the light. We're supposed to get stronger. We're supposed to get stronger. Exactly. And let me read verse, come. go down to verse 16. It said, the people which sat in darkness, when the people which sat in darkness saw uh -huh. great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. In verse 17, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and since we're talking about light let's go on to the ch fifth chapter verse 16 let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven let your light shine i just preached about that at a um, earth anniversary a few months ago let your light shine 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 shine, shine. 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 weeks ago i had to preach on that a couple weeks ago so wow. I know nothing but God. This is nothing but God. Oh wow. my goodness. Oh my goodness. I gotta tell you about this testimony I got. Okay. Mm. I gotta tell you. Because I know this is reflecting on that. Right after that um service I had to preach on about let your light so shine. I had I had a dream. More of a vision, but it was it was a dream. And um I was I was about to I was about to go and on this little road trip, and so I'm I'm kind of looking a little lost because there's like people around that I really don't notice, but I see and I'm the only female in my out of my dad and my siblings, and so I see my and um, I see my family and uh, a dark figure came out of nowhere, and he was just like oh I I can tell you what to do I I can show you where to go. And my spirit man was kind of like, hold oh, up, don't, don't trust. But in, in the dream that I, I went on ahead and was like, okay, yeah, you can help us out. So he comes on the, the little, um, the little road trip. And, um, I noticed that God started revealing in the dream that he wasn't what he portrayed himself to be. And God revealed that it was mm -hmm. a spirit trying to come after him. So I woke up and I was like, Lord have mercy. Is this a warning? What is this? And God was like, this is, this is exactly what, what you thought it is. This is a warning dream. And I give people warning dreams all the time, but they don't receive it. So I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about this. I'm still thinking. And days and days going by. And then an in particular person comes into my life trying to 
do what that spirit in the dream had to um, do. And I've had, and I was like, okay, I didn't realize it at the time, but going into church and speaking to church mothers and they all had a word for me. It was like, God is telling me to tell you, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. And that's one thing you need to listen to elders, the mothers, mm -hmm. you need to listen to men and women of God that God surrounds you around. So, cause you already know the purpose that God has for you, but he's going to also send you warnings and people around you to tell you, hey, Satan is about to come and he's about to distract you off your purpose. And mm. that happened, I was able to handle that situation. And the person called me the other day, literally yesterday and said, hey, I don't think we can work together because you always happy. I don't, I don't know why you, you always happy. I can't, I can't work with you. I just can't do it. You're making me, dri you're driving me crazy. I would say what? If, I, if you can't handle the light that is being shown, <laughs> then mm. you need to go. You need to go. And sometimes wow. people, sometimes people cannot handle the light. So God is just going to separate them already. God is like, oh, this don't worry about them people they're gonna be separated people certain people that i know is gonna set me is gonna be attracted to your life they're gonna be attracted to your purpose they're gonna be attracted to what god set for you and then they're gonna realize what their own purpose is this is i, I believe god works in mysterious ways. wow i remember this... a story of um the disciples you know was asking jesus you know why couldn't we heal this person you know mm -hmm. and jesus talking about they didn't have enough faith because they was because you know they looked at the person who wanted to be healed and the situation didn't look right and they just didn't have a lot of faith that they were going to be able to heal them but see you gotta have faith when things look bad yes. you gotta have faith yes and and and, and here's a, something that here's a, here is something that is not said enough mm -hmm. just because you are a christian and jesus has saved you doesn't mean the role is going to be teachers and cream every single day every single minute every single hour it's going to be some ups. It's going to be some down. It's going to be some struggles. But you have to keep your eyes focused towards yes. the Lord. Yes. I will look to the hills for which coming my help. For my help cometh from the Lord. You got to look to the Lord. Yes. And you got you got to be ready to put Satan on those. I love how Jesus handled Satan. See, let me tell you, let me tell you the significance about this story though. <laughs> Jesus was remember Jesus was in flesh now. He was in flesh just like me and you. Right. He was the son of God, but he was in flesh. He was hungry. He fasted for four days, for four nights in the wilderness. That man was hungry. Just imagine being hungry like that, having eaten in 40 days and 40 nights. The brother was hungry. And the scripture said he was hungry. But Jesus, a brother, was hungry. Right. And that's when Satan came in because Satan knew that Jesus was in the flesh. And he said, you know what? I can get him now. He's finally uh -huh. there now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You got to be ready to put Satan on notice. Right, right. It's amazing how Jesus was able to put Satan on notice. Like, right. well, just because I'm hungry, you think you're coming after me, Satan? You better go somewhere with that. You, you must be crazy. I'm, right. I'm putting this in 2018 terms, y'all. I'm just letting right. you know. Right. You know, Satan coming telling jesus all this stuff like bro really really bro just because i'm hungry just because i'm i've been fasting you trying to come at me like that is that go on somewhere and then you know it's it's just it's just satan kept coming and coming and jesus put him in his place and it got to the point Satan said you know what i'll come back later he he's obviously got to deal with something. i'll come back later i'll get him later but guess what he didn't get jesus because jesus still lives today he walks with me he talks with me a long life never oh man right right you got anything to say i could i could go on with this <laughs> lord have mercy look you know what you know what <laughs> look honestly this this right here this 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 is people need to realize they have to look at jesus life because yes that's how that's our that's mm. our destination to be like him i know sometimes okay yeah we fall but who wants to keep dwelling on falling i don't want to keep falling you know what i'm saying people be, yeah i fall sometimes and i fall short yeah that happens but i don't want to keep accepting that you know what i'm saying i want to keep accepting that hey i don't want to keep making the same mistakes i want to keep doing what i need to do in order for my purpose to come to pass 
You know what I'm saying? Because God already mm -hmm. promised. Don't let no doubt come in. It's supposed to be and faith. We got to walk in light, y'all. We can't we can't straddle the fence. We can't be some light and some dark. You know, um, first John, the first chapter. I'm not gonna go through it right now, but when you go to first John, the first chapter, read verses five through ten. Basically, you know, it talks about you can't say, you know, you for light, but you're living a life of darkness. You can't you can't straddle the fence. You gotta be uh -huh. for light or you gotta be for darkness. Choose this choose ye this day whom you will serve you know if you say that you are full of light and you're you know you gotta have the light of jesus in you but you're doing things that are, are of the darkness guess what uh -huh. you know you're only making god a right. liar you're making right. him look like a fool and right. you don't want to make god like no fool you right. know we got to walk in light and i know some of you may be saying but minister major you know i don't want to get all spiritual with you know my finding my purpose and this or that y'all get a little too deep but let me tell you something you can't do nothing without Jesus. You can't right. do nothing. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, don't go out there and be a Bible toy time out, you know, screaming scriptures like, y'all need to do this, y'all. I'm not saying do that. I'm not saying do that. But at uh -huh. the same time, you could put this in your heart, in your right. spirit. Right. Don't let, you know, let your walk do the talking. Exactly. Let your smile do the talking. Exactly. Let Jesus take control of you yes. and you go out and do what you need to do and i guarantee you as a witness somebody's going to ask you what is yes. up with you what i mean right. there's something different about you right. then you can tell them well, let me tell you about jesus christ oh yes oh, see yes. that's why you got to stay focused see I, I i i say this a lot and people get get this the wrong way you know to minister to people, you don't have to tote your Bible out to be seen all the time and just be a dictator all the time. Mm -hmm. No, you got to have this word in your heart, in your spirit. You got to carry with you on the inside. And see, let me tell you this. If, when you try to discover and fulfill your purpose, you got to carry the Lord with you everywhere right. you right. go. And you got to let your walking do the talking. Yes. And you got to say, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm trying to accomplish this. I'm trying to discover this, Lord. I can't do this. You got to do it. See, y'all, some of you may say it's a little too spiritual, a little bit too deep, but you need this because you need to realize that no matter how smart you are, doesn't matter how many degrees you got, doesn't matter how many cars you got, doesn't matter how much money you got, you need Jesus. Right. And you need him to direct your path. Yes. You cannot make it right. without Christ. You said we you said we we don't we don't this is a spiritual thing. The word says that we don't fight against flesh and blood. Yeah. Uh, principalities. So this has to be a spiritual walk. If you can't get with the program, I'm sorry. Because Jesus, the Lord said in the um the word that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So if they can't get with the program yeah. of this being spiritual, then I'm I'm sorry. The the people are going to be attracted to the light, and they're going to be, oh wow, this is a spirit. Oh, that's why I'm being attacked. That's why things are I'm happening. That's why I'm I'm always thinking negative because spirits are trying to hinder your spirit man to be like Christ. That's why it, it ain't. This ain't a natural fight. This is a spiritual fight. Like Jasmine just said, everybody is not going to be able to handle that light. You know, it, it, that light is a beautiful you. thing, but at the same time, a lot of people is not going to be, you know, attracted. They're going to be like, "Ugh, need to stay away from them." I, I just can't handle that. You know, right. just focus on what God has for you. Oh, Lord, I'm feeling this today. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. You know another thing? When when you told me about the the um the thing, <clears throat> when you told me about the thing, and you said how to fulfill your God given purpose. Um, another thing that came to me was obedience. Obedience mm. will help you fulfill what God has put there for you, because a lot yes. of people. God, a lot of people, God will tell them, this is what I want you to do. They already know, but God will send things their way to fulfill it. And they can't, they don't have discernment or wisdom to know what to, mm. to even go with. So they're disobeying the thing that God even had for them. You understand? I, I, I was mm -hmm. like, wow, God, like obedience is another key factor into fulfilling what he gave us. He, he's already given it to us. We can, we can, um, 
God will uh, let's say God will, will uh, bless us with our, you know, what we were been striving to do this day. But God see that we're disobeying Him, so He will, um, the time will keep getting pushed back. And so we have to we have to realize that the plan is already set. It's just up to us to obey what He has for us, so we can get it right then and there, and in the right time, not in the wrong. We got to keep focused. We got to keep focus on on what God has for our life. We got to keep focus, right. and um, it's just it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, mm -hmm. but you will succeed. You will get to where you going. You just gotta keep focus. You gotta, like I said, keep Satan on notice. When he try to come, you gotta go and bind him in the name of Jesus. You gotta just tell him like it is, and you know. Just stay strong, especially for those who are trying to discover your purpose. And I know it seems like time is running out and people telling you you need to hurry up and do this before you get a certain age. Let me tell you this. I I'm 26 and, you know, I'm just now really, you know, focusing, completely focusing on my purpose. You know, I don't have right. no distractions. And, you know, I'm not worried about what people say. You know, and, and it, also, there's nothing wrong. And I'm going to say this. Keep your business to yourself. You don't have to tell everybody your business. <laughs> right, right, you don't right. Have to tell. You know, don't get me wrong. God's going to send those right people to help people you could, you know, talk to and that could encourage you the right way. But everybody don't need to know your business. Exactly. You know, talk to the Lord. You know, let me, I, I, I keep coming, look, Holy Spirit keep giving, keep giving me things right now. This is a time for you to really develop a closer relationship with God. And let me tell you about this. If he's calling you to be a cosmetologist, a basketball player, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever the case may be, do that. Because let me tell right. you, when you let the Lord direct your path and put you in certain situations, guess what? It's for a purpose. There's going right. to be somebody in your field of work that's going to need the gospel. And you're going to be the light in that situation, especially being a lawyer or somewhere in the government. Because right. trust me, it needs the light. It right. definitely needs the light in this right. day and time. So right. wherever Lord leads you, that's where you go. But whatever you do, don't forget about God. Keep right. God as the head always. So, yeah. You know, Paul, Apostle Paul, okay. Mm -hmm. If you go to a Philemon, I don't know if you know that that I'm I've always tried to like say that right, but I don't know if I'm saying it right. Chapter one, verse twenty-one. And Paul is saying this. He's talking. And what really stuck out to me is when he said, Having confidence in thy obedience, I wrote unto thee, knowing that thou wilt also do more than I say. So, when I read that, and when God gave me about, you know, obedience, I was like, so we're supposed to have confidence in the obedience that, we're, you know, and when we obey God, we're supposed to have confidence, like, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> I obeyed, I'm, I'm walking in obedience, I'm blessed, God is going to, everything what he promised is going to come to pass. And Paul is a representation of having confidence in your obedience walk and your your walking. That's right. And I was like, wow. And I think the Lord gonna have me read more on Paul because I'm I'm starting to feel Paul. You know, he he used to get paid to kill um saints. So did yes he did. That sound like a Muslim to me. Yes. In those, in those um in those countries, that sound like a Muslim. They they do that. They in those countries they kill the. The saints of God there, and they get paid. That's why those soldiers mm -hmm. they're living wealthy because they pay. They get paid for that, mm -hmm. and that's what Paul used to do. And he got saved. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm um, also. Um, I was looking on my bookshelf. I got a book. My last semester in seminary was on the life of Paul. Really? And yes, our final exam was to go see the new Apostle Paul movie that came out a few months ago, and. Mm -hmm. You'll find out some stuff about Paul. I found out some stuff about Paul. I didn't even, you know, know. So. Oh, wow. You see my eyes. My eyes are big. Because when you read about Paul, you're like, what? Right. Really? Right. Yeah. Really? Right. It, it, it's, it's incredible. Right. Um, I encourage anybody to go read about Apostle Paul. Paul is. Oh. <laughs> 
he he's all he's, he's awesome, awesome and i don't think awesome even do the word for right it. <laughs> yes paul, paul is something else oh yes he got a serious testimony <laughs> yes he does and for those who don't know also most of his letters um came from why he was locked up he was in, he was locked up <laughs> Now, think about being locked up in 2018. You know, just imagine yeah, that, um, being in a being a prison. Right. But God spoke through Paul so much that Paul wrote the letter. Right, right. And he wrote these these um these um scriptures and stuff. God gave him this while he was locked up. That also kind of goes with purpose right. because you could be in the most craziest situation but god could still use you oh yeah god's not oh. looking for perfect people oh. he's looking for people he can use mm -hmm. let me tell you this i don't care what you do or what you say whatever happens in your life right right i encourage you to stay close to god because uh -huh. i'm guarantee you god can use you but he just wants you to listen to him uh-huh because he has a plan for you and a plan for your life, but you just gotta be obedient and listen to him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. That was the Holy Spirit. That was definitely the Holy Spirit because I was not expecting to go there. <laughs> but that just came. That just came to me talking about Paul. Paul was locked up. And when I think about that, yes. the thought of prison just just makes me nervous. Oh yes, I know, I know. And y'all think prison in 2018, looking at these shows on TV, prison is something bad right. now? Right. Let's go back to biblical times. Exactly. Mm. You won't even be able to, I guarantee you, some people, for those who have been to jail, go read the Bible and right. look up stuff. Trust and believe. Right. It, it was crazy. It was. It was. It was. It was crazy. I know I wouldn't be able to mm. do it now. I know I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't either, uh, and and, oh. and 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 God used him. God used yeah. Paul, oh, yeah. and like Jasmine just said, he was he was a killer. Oh yeah. And God, God turned his life. He Praise got saved. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Got yes. saved, y'all. If God can use Paul, he, use he can use you. Yes. If God had something for Paul, he can use you he got something for you he had a purpose Ooh. yeah mm. and all of us got purposes we just gotta walk in obedience we gotta if say if paul didn't allow god to to speak to him he could have been rejected he could have he could have been like no nah, i don't want to hear that took for him to go to jail mm. it took for him to think come on Sometimes God allows certain situations to happen so we can get closer to him. That we want to blame Satan exactly. for our our little problems, our struggles. But nah. Sometimes God is just like, okay, let, let's see what how you gonna do this without me. Let's see how your your walk is. Okay, let me I wanna read, go to a chapter of Romans. And I want to focus on verses 36 through 39. Amen. Amen. I got it. And we talking about obedience. I kind of touched on these scriptures in the blog about obedience with Kaylee's Harris. Mm -hmm. And I want to say this right here because this this really stands out to me talking about this. It says, starting at verse thirty six, mm -hmm. at it, at, excuse me, at it, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep. For the slaughter mm -hmm. nay in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us and i, I get happy with this, yes. these last two verses <laughs> for i am persuaded yes. that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor power nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall yes. be able to separate us from the mm -hmm. love of god which is in christ jesus our lord so basically we are like sheep counted for the slaughter every single day. The enemy is out for us every single day. But we are more than conquerors right. through Jesus Christ. You are more than what you think. Right. Nothing is going to separate you from the love of God. Yes, 
There are evil spirits out there. Yes, there are problems out there. Yes, there's all kind right. of hell breaking loose, but nothing's going to separate no. you from the love of God. You just got to be obedient and right. keep focused on God. Right. You got to just accept the fact the enemy going to be after us every day, y'all. I'm going to be real with you. He, every he, day. He, and I, as a kid, I put this in my book, just to give y'all a little preview of my book. I put this in my book. Growing up, I would look at people. Mm -hmm. smiling every single time you see them just as happy as happy could be and i always used to wonder do they have problems in life i mean come on now do they got something going because they always smile that happy but then when i got to know jesus a little bit more yeah, and a yeah. little bit better then i realized when you have the joy of jesus in you doesn't matter what's going on in life doesn't matter how hard things get right. let me tell you something satan may be the one trying to kill you every single day but you are already saved victorious you are covered you got life through jesus yes and see the christian hope is to get to heaven one day but you can experience jesus right here right now on earth yeah so one thing i can't wait to see is jesus face to face but until that day comes i can't wait i'm gonna serve him i'm gonna praise him right. i'm gonna lift him up and I'm going to magnify his holy name. Yeah. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to fulfill the purpose he has for me. Because I know whatever I, I, I do in life, whatever the Lord has me do, it's for a reason and it's for a purpose. Not only to help me, but to help somebody else. To let them know that there is reality yeah, yeah. in serving the true and the living God through yeah. Christ Jesus, yeah. our Lord and Savior. Whew. I normally take a back seat when I have a guest on the vlog, but the holy spirit <laughs> oh yes oh yes yes I, it's, he's awesome he's awesome because what he and what he wants to say he's gonna get it out anyway mm -hmm. and anyhow i i yeah because see when i have a guest i try to let my guests you know have okay. their you know moment to say what they're saying yeah. you know i don't try to be all you know talking to them but today it, it was it was hard <laughs> it was true i understand Woo. i understand completely i understand man it won't just be you everybody it was for me too this week yeah the lord really been, been talking to me uh even on the book of um um the uh, ruth talking about um uh, ruth and naomi uh, ruth's purpose got fulfilled when she obeyed what naomi said naomi said go to the um threshing floor meet with boaz and she would have disobeyed mm. Her and Naomi wouldn't have had um, help. <laughs> Who? You know what? See, Holy Spirit, what are you doing today, Holy Spirit? <laughs> I mean, when you said thresh, <laughs> when you said threshing floor, oh, you already know. <laughs> somebody just, I don't know what I was watching. I was watching something on YouTube and somebody was talking about it. They was talking about the store or roof and they said something that nearly threw me off. The problem is, we need to go to the threshing floor, but a lot of us don't want, don't go. Whoa, Jesus! So we don't. That's walking in disobedience. Walking in disobedience. So Samuel, it talks about when when they disobeyed. Samuel went to a, a actual. He went to a, um. He disobeyed God. He 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 went to instead of standing firm with God, he walked in disobedience and went to. A, a, a witch lady, oh yes, went to a mm. witch lady, and just that was bluntly just disobeying God because he's been following God all these times. And then once doubt came mm -hmm. in, once doubt came in, he started walking in disobedience, causing witchcraft to creep in. Come on, let me go to that. I'm trying to give. Come on, say something while I look for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to say something because I, if I say something, we may get started, started shouting again. Oh, Lord. Okay, I think. <laughs> Lord I, Jesus. I think I found it. First Samuel chapter 15, verse um, 22. We'll go to 22. Yeah. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of ram. So right there, Samuel was about to start doing things that he knew he wasn't supposed to be doing. He was about to start burning sacrifices into the false idols and, and other gods because that's what the witchcraft lady told him to do. He's walking in, he, he thought he was walking in obedience of, um, of, of, a, of man, but he wasn't walking in obedience of God. 
So God said, no, my obedience is better than sacrifices. So all that little stuff you're doing, that, that, that pagan stuff you're doing, you're allowing that to creep into your life. You're walking in disobedience. He said in 23, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of God. He hath also rejected thee from being king. That being king was his purpose. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for giving me that. Hallelujah. Thank you. We need to hear that. We needed to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, but, but his purpose but, was to be. Here's the thing that got. I had to. When you started reading that, I had to put down my Bible because going back to the vlog I did about obedience, <laughs> Kaylee's brought up that scripture. Wow. <laughs> wow. I see. Wow. That's the Holy Spirit. That wow. is. Ooh, my somebody Lord. that's well, somebody that's that's watching. They need to. They need to know. Somebody is. They need to know that obedience is is hind disobedience is hindering from their purpose. All that stuff. All those vlogs you've been doing. It's for somebody. It's for somebody. Mm -hmm. I, I want y'all to go watch all the vlogs, but I. But since we're talking about obedience, I really want you to go check out. Um, the one I did with Kaylee mm -hmm. Harris about obedience as well, because that goes perfectly with this. Yeah. Since we keep going back to obedience, yeah. you know, I definitely want y'all to check that out. That was so good. I almost had to do a part two for that, wow. one, you know, because it, it went so good. But, um, wow. Oh, boy. I'm going to do something I rarely do here on the on the Sunday Word Report. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I want to say a prayer for those who are, you know, trying to discover and fulfill their purpose. Yeah. Um, also, I want to give an opportunity for someone to accept Christ into their life. Yeah. Um, I feel that this vlog is really going to do something for someone out there. Mm. It may not be in 2018, may not be two, in 2019 or 20, but somewhere down the line, somebody's going to come back and say that this vlog has really helped them. 16 years, I got people coming to me to talk about a message I delivered back in 2006. You know, so mm -hmm. you never know when or where it's going to touch somebody. But this vlog is, uh, wow. I, I'm just going to just pray real quick and we're going to do this invitation to Christ. And um, after that, we're going to close out. So um, for those who are watching, please join me in prayer right now. Father God in heaven, we thank you for this vlog. We thank you for everything that you have done. Yes, Lord. Father God, right now, I just pray for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl who is having trouble trying to discover their purpose. I'm, I pray for that man, woman, boy, or girl who is trying to fulfill their purpose, Father. Lord, you know what exactly they need. You know the direction they need to go in. Yes. Father God, bless them and keep them. Yes. Guide them on their way. Yes. Lord, take them to their precious floor and, and, and help them to find what they need father god whatever they need give it to them right yes, now lord. lord help us to be more obedient to your will and to your way father god even though we stand strong sometimes we get a little weak along the journey but father god we know that you will lead god and direct us yes. so father god just lead us every step of the way Give us yeah. grace. Give us mercy, Father God. Lord, we are so unworthy to even call on your name, but it's by the blood of Jesus that we find peace, we find understanding, we find yeah. breakthrough. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let's touch, heal, deliver, set free. Give direction. Give guidance. Lord, just have your way. And at this time, Father God, I pray for that person who is lost and need a savior. I pray that they find your son, Jesus Christ, in the free partner of their heart, Father God. Yes. Lord, save them right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, Lord, as they confess their sins to you and let go of themselves and give them their whole self to you, Father God, help them to realize that in you, they can find everything that they have been searching for. In you, they will find understanding. In you, they will find peace. In you, they will find life and find it more abundantly. Father God, Lord, we just thank you thank for this moment, this opportunity just to minister to your people through this vlog here on the yes. Sunday Word Report. Yes. Lord, continue to bless Miss Jasmine Farrow and everything that she do. Bless 
every co-host that has joined me on the Sunday Word Report thus far. Lord, continue to use this ministry to glorify your kingdom. Yes. Lord, let not our will, but let yes. your will yes. be done. Yes. Have thine own way, Father God. We are the pot, you are the potter, we are the clay. Mold us yes. and shape us after Amen. your will. While we're down here waiting, yielding, yes. and still have died our way, Father God. We love you, and we praise you in advance for what you're yes. going to do, Father God. It is in the precious, powerful name of Jesus yes. we pray and ask it all. Yes. Amen. 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 Awesome. I could, we could go We could go on with this, y'all. We could go on and on, but we could, I'm going to stop it right now because... <laughs> Yes. Oh, goodness. I'm going to stop it right now. Lord have mercy. And I'm going to have to have Miss Jasmine Farrell back on the blog real soon in the coming future. Um, I gave y'all the information back in February on how to get her song. Uh, I think you got some. But tell people what you got going on so they could, you know, keep up with you. Okay. Well, right now I just released a video on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all that. I just re um. It's, it's called Block. It's a musical poem. And this is for people that have dead weights, people that do not need to be in their life in order to fulfill the purpose that God has for them. They have to block some people out of their lives. So, yeah. I'm, I, God gave that to me. And so, I really believe it's going to bless some people to move forward in life. So, it's a, I know it's going to encourage some people, but it's up already. So, if you want to check it out, and you can just type in Jasmine Artist Pharaoh, Jasmine Pharaoh, Jasmine, it'll pop up. Yes, and um, it's also going to be down in the description below. The link is going to be down in the description box below, so just make sure you go down and check it out. I ain't going to lie, when I first listened to it, I was like, whoa, this is dope. <laughs> <laughs> to God be the glory. It ain't me. Yes, oh, this, and I, I was like, whoa, this is, and it's so relatable, y'all. You know, I, I I love it. I'm not just saying that because she's right here. I say this in front of her face and behind her back. That thing is off the chain. So make sure you go check that out. Um, also, like I said, go make sure you go follow all the people on social media that have been on the blog. I got their Instagram information on all the blogs, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you follow them as well. Um, I think I've been everything I need to say. <laughs> It's just my mind is just like a different direction, y'all. It's just like the Holy Spirit just like going different directions in my mind. So, um, um, so you know, I'm gonna do this. When in doubt, when you don't know no, nothing else to say, just down real quick and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Let me get off of here. I'm just acting a fool now. Let me get off here. <laughs> That's it for us today, y'all. Have a great and wonderful day. Tune in next, uh, next time for another edition of Sunday World Report. This is Minister BJ Major, Miss Jasmine Artist Farrell. Sign off, tell you to stay great, stay safe, be blessed.